Thing near Walnut Grove at the Lost Slough Levee. This is a look at a map of the affected area bordered by Franklin Boulevard, Lambert Road, and State Route 160. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is live near Walnut Grove now with the very latest for us. Jennifer? Many roads shut down here in South Sacramento County because of flooding, but this is nothing compared to what they were concerned earlier today. A breach just over the way. If there was a break, they feared it would be well over my head. That's just one of the issues that they're dealing with today. It's a race against the rising water and failing levees for homeowners to try and save decades of belongings. It could get anywhere from five to seven feet high in this house. High water on Lost Slough is inching up to the top of the levee, threatening more than a dozen homes and acres of farmlands. Officials warning to evacuate. This while emergency crews work to repair the breach just east of I-5. If it goes, it's going to take out a few homes, and we want to make sure the residents are safe. This is what they're trying to prevent. A levee break on the Kasumnis River flooded folks south of Elk Grove. There's two houses. They're both connected, and then one of them is uh, flooded, the other one isn't. It's the first major storm for 14-year-old Jesus Vargas. He and his father are rushing to load up their horses and moving to higher ground. The concern isn't so much the local rain, it's the rain that's falling all around. Us and the waters that are coming down the rivers. It's a valid fear for people living behind levees. You know, when you have a big rainstorm like this hitting the system all at once, it's a test for the system. And in some cases, uh, the levees have failed. But uh, fortunately, they've been failing in farmland areas, and uh, residents really haven't been too much threatened except for today. Jack says this recent storm brings back bad memories from 1986, the last time the slew was this high. I lost almost everything I had, so we thought we'd rather be safe than sorry. And levee patrol still out here tonight. This is just one area affected of hundreds of miles around the delta that are that have some concern. We're talking rodents burrowing holes and erosion. So again, we could see more in upcoming days. All right, Jennifer, thanks so much. Live for us tonight in uh, Sacramento County. Let's